welcome back to another video now today we are doing the very first episode of my FIFA 17 career mode series clearly the team I'm going to be managing is Arsenal Arsenal you guys clearly know I support Arsenal but who do you guys support make sure to leave a comment below let me know who you guys support because I don't know who you guys support. I want to see the majority okay I want to know who you guys support so leave a comment below right now if you're watching and just write down I support blah 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 and let me know who you support also if you do enjoy the series please make sure to smash the like button because this is kind of like a trial episode if this does well I'm going to continue to do this series and I'll upload it every Sunday at 1pm I know it's not Sunday today but like I said it's a trial episode I will do episode 2 if this one gets good feedback so make sure to leave a comment below let me know if you guys enjoy this because it does help a lot and smash 500 likes all right guys as you've probably seen on if you're a youtube fan everyone's been doing a journey i've also been playing the journey offline but i thought i'm probably gonna do go for the career mode route this season i, I am playing the journey offline as well so if you guys do want to see the journey leave a comment below and if I get enough people saying they want to, they want to see the journey, then I'll be forced to do the journey. But if you guys want to see me continue career mode, then let me know as well. So as you can see, we've got manager career and we've got a player career. We've got Jose Mourinho and we've got Marco Royce. Now, Jose Mourinho is not the kind of manager that I'm going to want to be. But I'm going to have to click on Jose Mourinho because it is the manager career. Alright guys, so before we continue on to this video, I just wanted to let you guys know about something really, really cool. It is called One Football, and it tells me every single thing I need to know about football. What you do is basically go in the link in the description below. If you have an iPhone or an Android, it's fine. You can get it on either, and it is completely free. So, when you download this app, you open it. Obviously, I've already used it, so you do pick your favourite club. So, as you can see, I've picked Arsenal. Ask, and you turn on push notifications. What push notifications is, is basically if your phone is locked, you will get a notification saying your team has, I don't know, if your team's playing, you'll get a notification your team's playing. If there's any injury news or any transfer news or anything, you will get it straight to your phone. If you guys do want to go on this app, link is in the description below. Just check it out. And yeah, let's carry on with the video. Domestic success is critical. Continental success is also critical. Brand exposure, critical, financial, low, and youth development is medium. Obviously, I'm going to click yes on Arsenal. I get to design my man. First name, Mr. Surname. Let's just do Mr. Sharky. Select my avatar. Okay, which one looks most like me? There's only, there's not many options, is there, really? There's two black guys. I'm going to pick one of the black guys. I'm going to go for the, the younger-looking black guy, I guess. Welcome to FIFA 17's manager career. As the newly appointed manager of Arsenal, will be responsible not just for your team's success on the pitch, but you'll be expected to work with the board the most by Aston Martin, Royal Football Club. All right, so we are in the home page. We are on the home page for FIFA 17 career mode. It looks a bit different from the last, last year's career mode, but it's... It's, it's easily manageable. I'll look at my inbox. I've got obviously I'm in the Asian Elite Cup, that's why I've entered. Shirt sales. They've set a goal to earn 127.5 million in sales from our players' shirts. Okay, Chief Executive says the transfer market is now open. And the scout himself is called Mason Mason. How original must his parents be to call him Mason Mason? Finances. Yeah, my transfer budget, as you can see, is 77 million. Pounds and my wage budget is 319,000. I'm definitely going to be dipping into this transfer budget. I'm going to try and make a signing in this episode. My first signing, hopefully, we made it in this episode. So let's see what I can do. Also, guys, like I said at the start of the video, if you do enjoy a career mode, if you are a FIFA fan and you enjoy watching career mode, make sure to smash the like button right now. Uh, 500 likes, and I will be continuing this series. And I will be uploading it every Sunday. Also, try and leave a comment below with some feedback. If it's good feedback, bad feedback, uh, criticism, constructive criticism, anything is great. Leave a comment below. So, looking at my squad, it's basically all the current signings. Mustafi, Xhaka, Lucas Perez are all here. I'm going to... Let's see if I can... I'm going to try and get rid of or loan out a couple of players. So as you know, we've already loaned out Jack Wilshere, Wojciech Chesney, Callum Chambers and a couple youngsters and Joel Campbell as well. Sonogo, get the hell out of my club. Sonogo, I'm going to put Sonogo on the transfer list. I'm also going to put Debushi on the transfer list. What else? I'm going to put Kyle Jenkinson on the loan list for one year loan. 
I'm a big fan of Carl Jenkinson, but there's no space. I'm gonna buy a new right back because I've got I'm getting rid of Jenkinson and Dushi. And I'm gonna give Zellalem on the loan list. I want him to get experience because I want him in my team for next season. I'm also gonna put Rain Adelaide on the loan list. I want him to come back a better player. And that's it. That is my players that I'm listing out. Search for players. I'm gonna Shall I try and get a player now? Or okay, let me advance. Let me advance. Also, I'm going to be skipping through all these preseason games. So I will be simming the preseason matches. So the first game is against a team called Urawa in the Asian Cup. I'm going to sim this match because I'm not interested. I want to get straight into the comp competitive games. Sim in this game. First game of my career most series. Shall I watch it or shall I skip it? You know, I'm going to skip it. There you go. 5 0. Comfortable win. As you can see, Santa Cazola's got one, Granite Jack has also got one, Alexis Sanchez got another a goal as well, and Meza Ozil got a double. All of these players that I scored are going to be key players for me this season. 5-0, easy win, landslide, I like that. Player com player conversations, Jeff Brain Adelaide has said, Hi boss, I was hoping you might be experimenting with the squad and would give me a chance to play. I've just literally put this kid on the loan list, but I will be playing him in the, I will put him in the starting lineup for the preseason fixtures. So let me just change this team for the next preseason fixture. Okay, I've changed my team for the second preseason fixture. Oh, I'm also going to be simming this, so I've changed it. Um, I'm just rotating the squad while I'm also looking for players. This episode is mainly about settling into my, my new club. So after this, when I do start the season, I will be playing at around three fixtures per episode. But like I said, remember, make sure to smash the like button if you guys want to see more of this. So, as you can see, we've got training. I can add drills. So, I'm going to simulate all the drills. See what happens. They're all starting the drill at the same time. And bang. There you go. True back from got a C. He did the best in his drill. Welbeck, Theo Walcott, Cockerland got Fs. And Rob Holden got a D. Not the best. But we've done our first training session. Advanced. As you can see, I've switched my team around. I'm guessing my second fixture is coming now. Yep, it's against Perth. They're an Australian club, if I'm correct. And we're going to sim this match with my second choice team. So, let's see how we do. And there you go. We've lost 1 0. Not great at all. But then again, it is a preseason friendly. It doesn't really matter. Transfer offer. We've got a transfer offer for Aaron Ramsey, who's asking Real Madrid, guys. Real Madrid. Is this realistic? Do you think it's realistic? Comment below. Real Madrid coming for Aaron Ramsey. Aaron Ramsey is not leaving our club. I'm going to have to reject. You know what? Let's try and go for our first signing right now. Okay? I'm going to try and find a right back. I'm going to go for position, defender, role, right back, age. I'm going to go for a young one. So I'm going to go 16 to, let's say, 24. Okay, though, we've got Leandro Bakuna. Everyone knows him, plays for Aston Villa. He's only 24 years old. I thought he'd be a bit older. He's six foot two. He's 24 years old. This guy could be decent, actually. Let me just inquire. Let me just ask about Bakuna. He's 24 years old. He's six foot two. A six foot two fullback. At 20, I'm on it. I'm on inquire. Okay, I've inquired about him. We've got Chris Brown. Okay, Chris Brown has decided to become a footballer. Oh, we found a decent player, Tyus Browning. Everton player, he's 22 years of age, he's 5 foot 11, his athleticism is great. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna inquire about him as well, okay? So we're gonna advance to our next preseason fixture is Benfica. I'm gonna change my squad around because we're playing Benfica, it's a slightly diff um, harder team. Save, change, this is my third game. I've changed my team around for the third time. We won the first game 5-0, lost the second game 1-0. We've got Benfica now, the hardest of them all. We've got a slightly, we've got a strong team mixed with, we've got our A team and B team mixed together. So let's see what happens. Doesn't really matter if I lose, but it is always nice to win. Okay, I've got emails back from Everton and Aston Villa. Okay, Aston Villa say they will consider a bid within the region of 4.2 million for Bakuna. And Everton say they will consider a bid in the region of 1.2 million for Tyus Browning. I'm probably going for Bakuna. He does look up, he's a bit older. He's, he's six foot two, like six foot two as a right back, just sold me. And he looks like he has a bit more experience. So Bakuna for 4.2 million looks like a good deal. Submit offer. Let's see what Aston Villa say. Sim the match. Let's see what happens. We've got Ospina, Jenkinson, Mustafi, Holden, Gibbs. Ramsey, Xhaka, Theo Walcott, Danny Welbeck, Alex Sanchez, and Lover Drew. I want to skip the game. We've beaten them 5 1. As you can see, we've won 5 1. Kieran Gibbs, Aaron Ramsey, Welbeck Double, and Lucas Perez 
And we've also got what Aaron Ramsey has been sent off. So that definitely looks like an interesting game. 5-1 with a red card. It doesn't really matter that he's been sent off. It won't go on to the competitive fixtures. But that is a great win from the boys. Aaron Ramsey has been suspended. What's been playing for? For a, for a two-match ban. I'm guessing, hopefully, it's just pre-season matches. Okay. I'm going to advance now. My next fixture is PSG. But I'll probably, I'm not going to play it unless I do get... Now Real Madrid have come in for Francis Coquelin. I've said no to Aaron Ramsey for 32 million and they've tried to come in for half that for France Coquelin for 16 million, 16.5 actually. And I'm also going to say reject, okay? France Coquelin is a key player to my team. He is not going anywhere. What do Real Madrid want from me? What do they want from me? Sunderland want Danny Welbeck for 19.5 million. I've got Lucas Perez, Olivier Giroud and Danny Welbeck to my, my three strikers. Although... I might really sell one of them to buy a new striker, but I don't know which one I want to get rid of. Okay, if if they can do 25 million, I will sell him. I'll count it off for 25 million. If they say yes, I'll get rid of Danny Welbeck and I'll sign a new striker. So I'm going to change my team around again for the, for the fourth time for PSG. Yep. PSG guys, the fourth game. I'm also gonna be simming this. Like I said, I'm simming all the preseason friendlies. And when we get to the actual games, I will be playing properly. Don't forget to smash the like button, guys. I will I do enjoy doing this. So if you guys enjoy watching this, smash the like button. 500 likes and I will continue this. Okay, Aston Villa have accepted Bakuna. So we've made our first signing. Let me just do his um wage. I'm gonna offer him, let's say, 28.5k a week. I'm gonna give him a five percent clean sheet bonus because I'm a nice guy. A three-year squad bro I'm gonna give him um, important first team player and I'm gonna submit I'm gonna submit we might have just made our first signing guys you might be thinking Bakuna who's that why are you signing Bakuna why don't you sign Philip Lam or Danny Alves guys I know what I'm doing okay I know what I'm doing Danny Welbeck Danny Welbeck wants to play mm, okay you know what? I'm gonna start Welbeck I'm gonna start him for the PSG game let me just change that once more Instead of having Alexis Sanchez up top, I'm going to start Welbeck. Yeah, I'll start Welbeck up top and measure it behind him. Yeah, that looks good. We could beat PSG with his team. This will probably be the last game of this episode. Let's sim the match. PSG, we've got Petacek, Matty Debushi, Mustafi, Koscielny, Gibbs, Kokolan and Elneny in holding midfield. Walcott, it will be Ozil and we've got Welbeck up front. I want to sim it and we've won 3-1. I'm already doing great, a great job as manager. Theo Walcott double and Mesut Ozil has scored. Al Alex Obi has picked up a minor injury, but that should be okay. We've got a 3-1 win and I am happy with that. So, we've got Real Madrid next, but I'm going to leave that for the next episode. If you guys do want to see me play Real Madrid next, if you want to see me actually play them, leave a comment below. If you guys want to see more of my career mode, um, smash the like button. And let's see our email before we finish this episode. So, let's check our inbox. We've got a press conference. I will do that next episode. Transfer offer for Yaya Sonogo. Got a bunch of transfer offers. Uh, Sunderland have decided to go ahead with the Warbeck deal. So, if you guys do want to see that, make sure to uh, like, the, like the video. We've got a bunch of emails. Uh, player conversations. We've got Danny Warbeck. And that's it for this episode. We've signed a player. So, to round this episode off, we've played a bunch of games. We've lost one. One, four, I think. Um, we've signed our first player, Bakuna is a right back, and we may have just sold Daddy Welbeck to Sunderland. We will see how that goes. If you guys do enjoy this, please make sure to smash the like button. 500 likes, like I said, would be amazing. Also, make sure to leave a comment below if you guys do enjoy this, and let me know what team you guys support, because it would be cool to know who you guys support. And yeah, that's about it. Until next time, guys, I will see you later. Bye.